What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Tharsis. My name is Splattercat. Super stoked to have you here today. It's been out for a little while. I'm playing this game. It's not going to be a real series. We're not going to do like 30 episodes of Tharsis. We are, however, going to play the game because I enjoy it. It's a fun little digital board game, and I encourage you to think of the game like that. I started having fun with this game when I started thinking about it as a board game that I was playing at a table where each of my friends was playing one of the characters. Kind of like Pandemic where we're all running around doing like damage control and stuff like that, trying to figure out what we need to do. But at the same time, we're talking with each other, we're discussing the dice, we're trying to figure out what, a best, what the best strategy is that keeps us all in cohesion. Once I started thinking of it like that, I started really, really liking the game. But if you think of it like a video game, I think it's going to turn a lot of people off. And it's a good game. I do think that it's a solid, fun game. It's just definitely a dice game. So, let's take a look. What's going on with scores? Ah, it's just me and Stejo here. If you've never been to Stejo's channel, check it out. He's a cool guy. He's from Scotland. So, anyways. I think he's out in Glasgow, I think. But anyways. Yep. Stejo, he's got a channel. You should check it out. He hasn't beaten the game yet. I don't think you can beat the game with a score that low. But I'm not talking shit. I'm sorry, Stejo. I'm not talking shit. Anyways, you'll make it. Hang in there, buddy. You could do it. I believe in you. Since I'm not doing a tutorial this time, I think this episode's going to flow a little bit better. I think we're going to be able to actually complete a playthrough in much, much less time. So let's randomize who we get here. We've got... Really? We got the same group as last time? That seems unlikely. There we go. That's a little better. So we don't have the captain. We have the mechanic, the pilot, the technician, and the doctor. That's an interesting group. This should be, this should be interesting and fun. Let's do it. We have prepared for any disaster. For every disaster. Not all of them at once. We can't turn back, but how can we go on? Okay, so let's hope for good events. We got okay dice, but this is one of those times where you can lose on the first turn if you get bad dice, so... <sighs> Might be a little scary. Might be a little scary. Let's start out over here. We got Kayla Jones. She's going to be our doctor. Let's start by rolling some dice. Oh, man. That's bad. That's really bad. I never use ones to repair. I always use ones for research. The one is more valuable as research than it is in repair. I promise you that. We have... Little better. Still not enough to get us there, though. I'm gonna put the two in right there since it's not gonna help us anyways. Supplements would be great. I'll probably save up for supplements and go. We've got a pretty strong hand right now in our research hand, but our dice are failing us at the moment. You, sir, I I need you not to screw this up, please. Put the five in there. We'll reroll you. We can't do any worse. Hey, he resolved it by himself. What a champion. Pakal Lavorin is now my hero. Pakal Lavorin. I don't know how to say his name. Somebody's got to do it for me. Somebody's going to have to do it for me. We've got Yuri. Speaking of which, we've got a lot of people in the same cabin right now. This would be a fantastic time for you to play the captain's ability to give everybody an extra die. Just throwing it out there in case you hadn't thought about it. Let's go ahead and resolve the event. And I'm going to roll the die to see if I can get some more research out of this bitch. Nope, nothing for me. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Since we have a two, let's play snack on him. And that's about the best that I could think of. Don't ever discard. I probably have discarded dice already, but don't discard dice. Moods are turning sour. The crews and my own. But if I can't lead them, we're all dead. I need to get it together. So anyways, don't ever discard dice if you've got a play that you can make. If you've got a play that you can make, go for it. We can lose, so we can get an extra die. That would be really, really good right now. But our ship will get borked. Or we can go with one health to all crew, and they all actually do look pretty injured, and we could take some extra stress. Both are good options. Both are pretty solid. I'm going to go with the dice for us, though. I think. We had three health, right? One of the big issues, I don't see a health indicator for the ship right here. I would like there to be a health indicator for the ship so that you can make an educated decision. I think that's the one we want, though. We got one food. I'm going to put that on Joy Lee since she can give us assist. And our ship is pretty messed up right now. 
it's in rough shape. It's not looking super good. It's invoking the dog right now. We've got an injury roll over here on three, so we want to send somebody healthy to deal with that. We didn't roll any threes. That's a plus, and we did roll doubles, so technically we could get some food right now if we wanted to. I think I'm going to hold off on the food, though, for right now and hope I do better. So there you go. That's still not quite enough. Always use the one on research, by the way. Pretty strong argument could be made for using the four as well. But I'm going to work that down a little bit. I'm going to send the doctor over here. She should be able to finish this off, no problem. There it is. And that provides us with research, which is really solid. Feeling really, really good about that. I'm trying to get up to supplement so I can get everybody plus one die. Pakal. Uh, we got an assist right there that's going to help us out a little bit. You know... I really need a double six on this one. Or a five and a six. There are, I guess, four configurations out of twelve. A five and a five, a five and a six. A six and a six, and a six and a five. So I'm running the numbers in my head right now. I'm trying to decide if it's something I want to gamble on. We already used up our assist, though. And half of those are going to result in wounds. Which could technically... I don't think he can die. Let's live on the edge, yeah? Oh, boom! There it is, yes! Bacall, this guy. God, I love gambling. It is the best. Alright, so what we want to do now is we want to bring Joy over here and we want to have her harvest food. If we can just get some doubles, that's all that we need. And so we got doubles right there. That's one food. Let's roll again for research and for more doubles. Ah! That was like the worst roll we could have possibly gotten. That's rough. That's very rough because we can't get any assist out. We can't get any research. It's just like, ew. It's a bad roll. We got one food though, so let me take a look at these one more time and make sure I'm not missing something. Ah, I think we're good. And that's the end of our day. We're doing okay for right now. I know it seems bad, but... I let my fear get the better of me, but the others have proven me wrong. I'm proud of how the crew has come together. I think we might actually have a chance. So we can lose health or we can gain assist. I'm going to go with assist. The ship, we can repair that on our own. It doesn't really need that much help. I'm going to give, because of Pakal's ability to heal the ship, I'm going to give him the extra dice instead of Kayla. New events. We got a CIR fire. Oh, wow. We got three. That's rough. Okay. So let's take... The minus one die is going to cause us problems over the long term. She's only got one dice, so... Let's start out here and just see how we can... See how we can minimize this. You know, technically... Ah, whatever. We'll just... We'll take the four right there. That's fine. I need... He's off nominal. We got three right there. Oh, that's bad, but assists are going to save us, so that'll be okay. I'm going to go in right there, and I'm going to play supplements. I should have played that at the beginning of the turn. It would have been better, but at least it's something. And then we'll finish our deployment. That maxes out the technician, and it maxes out Pakal. Well, we're going to have to get real lucky with some dice. And that thing right there, I mean, it's ready to kill us. So we got to send somebody with some health. Okay, and so he's dead. That's unfortunate. That's the way it goes, though. I think we've lost this one as well. 
I told you this game was hardcore. Actually, we've lost no matter what we do, so we might as well throw it all away right now. Might as well go down swinging. Well, there it is. I actually, I kind of wish you couldn't get more than one of the... It's rough when this happens. When you've got two, three, and four all causing injury. It's a tough one. That's the end of the game right there. So we're done. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Down we go. Anyways, that's Tharsis. I don't know what else to tell you. That's the way the game goes sometimes. Bad dice are bad dice no matter how you throw them. And what's funny is that this game, because of those modifiers they put on things with the injuries and the voids and things like that, good dice can be bad dice and bad dice can be good dice. It's all very arbitrary. Well, that's the way they go sometimes, I guess. Let's go, well, go ahead and do another one. We got time. See what happens here. Let's go ahead and randomize. We have the mechanic, the captain, the pilot, and the doc. Sounds good. I'm gonna start skipping those little things just so we can play the game. Got kind of a rough play right now. Although, those are just minus one health, which actually isn't that bad. That leaves the ship in pretty good shape. Leaves it in tip top ship shape, whatever you want to call it. Yikes. That's a hand right there. I'm just gonna go in like this. That's the best way that I could possibly play this for right now. I'm going to play Override for the extra assist. And then she's going to have to come over and solve this for us. Otherwise, we're about to have bad Christmas. And so there it is. She managed to pull it out. That's going to fix that off. I would suggest that we now take Jean Aloi. And we bring him over here couple of assists in there. It's going to freeze up one of our ones. I'm going to save the six, reroll the other two. Hope we do better. Man, we have the worst dice ever. Like, our dice are really miserable. It's weird because I win a reasonable amount when I play by myself, but holy shit are the dice bad. I'll probably go with... I'll finish the deployment right now. Let's bring him over to here. I'm going to play plus one die on him so that he has four to give us a better chance of winning this thing. God, save that. Play that over here. Okay. Not the best turn I've ever had. A little bit of a rough turn, I guess. But we're going to have to make it work. We're going to have to play with the hand that we have been dealt. So that means we have a couple of people that are very close to death. And we didn't resolve the event, so... I'm going to take the plus one dice and the ship damage right there. Put those on Kayla Jones. Oh, that sucks on a six, huh? Man. We are getting really, really bad die in these playthroughs. Like, holy shit bad dice. Not even like bad dice, like holy shit bad dice. Mm. Took an injury, I guess. I'm going to play plus one health to everybody in the module because they're going to have to roll against this injury. And so that's about as close as I can get it. If I could play supplements, that'd be great. I would love to play supplements before this goes any more wrong. Not a lot of chances to fix this either, which is unfortunate. Captain's going to help out over here. Okay. So we brought in an unexpected win right there, and we got nothing to do with that die. Pretty useless to us. I actually think that everybody... 
I don't like how fives and sixes always activate the abilities. So much of the rest of the game is arbitrary. I think that every class should have to roll a different two numbers over here. So for example, for his ability, it'd be one or two. For another character, it'd be five or six. For another character, it'd be three or four. Because what that means is that it makes five or sixes naturally more valuable when the rest of the game, fives and sixes are kind of like just another dice. You know what I mean? I think if they randomize the dice that you need for each class, it'd make it a little bit better. You can make the game a little bit more diverse. Uh, I don't like either of these. This is not a fun set of hands for me. I don't like it when my high numbers kill me. I'm going to play the five. I'm going to keep the four. And I'm going to throw the one. There we go. That's kind of what I was hoping for so that I could do that right there. And then I could play supplements on the entire crew. That thing gives Yuri four dice to play around with on this side. Health is a little low though, so he could die if he rolls double sixes. We just have to hope that he don't. We got a four right there. A six right there. So this would be one of the rare cases. No, it wouldn't. Never mind, we're good. I say this would be one of the rare cases where I would recommend playing the one not on research, but we're fine. We're good to go. We've still got an okay hand too, so I think we'll be all right. We resolved all of our issues. We still got a decent amount of dice left. Not that terrified about it. I'm gonna go with ooh plus one food, I guess. I tend to ride stress pretty hard. I tend to ride stress really, really hard. I'm not gonna play the food until we need it though, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Whoa! Okay, so I guess we know what she's going to be doing. EATS fail is a major issue. Let's go ahead and jump up in here and see if we can solve this BZ. That's actually not a terrible hand. Play both of those. We've played 11. we got three dice left, so she can't possibly win just off a natural roll. I'll play the four there. Ten on three dice is possible. Instead, I'm going to play the three right there, which we can turn into a seven. And I'll decide how I want to spend that in just a minute. That'll actually instantly negate the food problem without us ever having to roll a die. So that seems okay to me. Let me send... Somebody with health. Uh, let's play the mechanic here. We'll do special repair module. Which leaves him free to roll dice to his heart's content. And we can either fill up... I actually think that's the smart play. We can fill up our cards right here and write them a little harder. And then what I would want to do... Is I would want to take Yuri. And I want to play anti-hemorrhagic on him. And now we just hope on good dice. We played that one with our soul, and that was about the best we could do. I mean, played our heart out on that one. Played our heart out on that one, and he actually resolved that perfectly. God, stress me out. And so that leaves Jean to roll anything over 10 on three dice with two stasises and one assist. So, you know, keep that in mind. We got the four right there. Oh my god, I'm so stressed right now. I'm so stressed right now! This is too much for me. I'm about to lose it. I've checked our food stores, and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach Mars. He's talking about eating humans. The minus two health is not going to work. The minus one dice sucks, though. 
That's rough. Oh, well, there you go. That'll solve it. Nothing a little cannibalism can't fix. Jean, eat the real food. We'll just have to look for stress solutions in the future. Now we got a good hand, though, so that's nice. Didn't he have four dice? What happened to his other dice? We got an EA or a C, a CM GAC fail. It's never good when your GAC fails. That's never a good plan. Let's go for... Her first. Dice being rolled because we are cannibals. Rolling on them dice because our tummies are full. Resolve that. Mm, oh, I already did it. I wanted to restore health to people in the module. Reducing stress would work too. Reroll it. Ah, we got a two. It's still good for research though. And then we could also do... Actually, we'll probably go with... That seems alright to me. We'll lower stress a little bit. Make that call. Our ship's kind of busted up at the moment, though. I'm a little nervous about it. He'll be fine to fix this. Should be, anyways. Took an injury. Keep the five. Reroll everything else. That void is the wild card here. Yeah, he got chewed up a little bit. I'm going to use that on research. Do I have the right numbers here? Got six. Oh, I thought that was a six. Okay, so that's why I always check. We got 10, we got... Yeah, that's fine. Resolved, sir. And that actually leaves us in a really, really good position. We've got two people left right now who, like, haven't done anything. Which means that technically we could run them off to go do whatever the hell they want. My suggestion would be to have him grow food. Because we're all out of cannibal supplies. So eating humans is not going to be an option. Okay, reroll them all. We got no doubles. Still got no doubles. That didn't go quite as well as I saw in my head. We'll play that. Play the six. Play the four. That gets us pretty close as far as that goes. And our stress is high. So let's play sedatives. We'll throw that back in there. Oh, look at that. We got another repair one too. So that's good. That'll be nice. I was sort of thinking we should repair the ship. What do I need to repair that right there? I need at least doubles with three dice. His dice are going to be a little low. I can still try and harvest food too. Although that's kind of unnecessary if I can regain dice over here. And that'll give me a dirty excuse to play all this right here. Should I play quick patch is my next question. Meh, we'll wait on it. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Tharsis. We will continue this one in a further playthrough. Hi to everybody, and I will see you there.